Welcome to Basic Engine Building, Section 1, Preparation. This video reference manual will show you the complete and proper rebuild process for an internal combustion engine. We'll cover everything from the removal to the disassembly of the long block. You'll follow any damaged components through their refurbishing at the machine shop and we'll show you how to test fit your new components. Then we'll show you industry standard techniques for assembly, torquing and sealing that can be used for almost any engine type. The final sections of this video will instruct you in general practices to prepare, install, and then start up your rebuilt engine. Everything is shown in full detail. If you're rebuilding an engine for the first time, or you're just interested in learning more about what goes on under the hood of a car, this box wrench video will explain it all. The concept is simple. You're going to learn how to rebuild an engine by watching us go through every step of the process. You'll see the tools and what it's like to actually use them. You'll see parts come off of a bunch of different kinds of engines and later, all of them getting put back together. We'll give you an overview of engine building procedures and techniques and help you understand how to look right through the walls of an engine so you can visualize what's going on inside. You can be a first time mechanic, an automotive professional or just an enthusiast that wants to learn a little more. This video has information for everybody and it'll show you everything about basic engine building by going through a complete rebuild. This volume does focus on the V8 engine, but when you compare the many different types of motors available, you'll find the methods used to rebuild the internal components of all types of engines are universal. This video will be just as useful for V8s as it will be for straight six, V6, or even most four-cylinder engines. A very helpful item to get for yourself will be the repair manual for the exact year and model of your engine. The manual will have all the specific details, capacities, and specifications for your engine and its components. It'll help you navigate the jumble of hoses, wires, and accessories so that you'll be familiar with everything under the hood. Once you know where everything is, this video will be able to show you the techniques and methods required to complete the work. The next thing to think about is where the chassis is going to sit while you do all the work. You'll need a level piece of concrete or asphalt, but it doesn't have to extend under the whole car. There just has to be enough room for jack stands or ramps to support the front area of the car, as well as enough space for an engine hoist to roll under the car, grab the engine, and then roll back out so that you can lower the engine to the ground or to a stand. When everything's been pulled apart and checked, you'll know what pieces you'll need to clean, refurbish, or replace. Your machine shop can be a big help for the parts selection and the diagnosis process. Almost every rebuild needs some kind of machine work to make it a successful project. So look around for a nearby shop with a good reputation and a helpful staff. When all your parts are set, don't skip the pre-assembly process. It's critical to know that your new and refurbished parts are all going to work together perfectly. The final assembly is the longest and most detailed section. This is where you'll see how to put your engine kit, gasket sets, and lubricants and sealers to work. With your specific repair manual and this box wrench video, you will be able to successfully reassemble, reinstall, and start up your rebuilt engine. Now that you have a better idea of what you're about to do, let's have a look at the tools and the supplies that are going to make it all possible. The foundation of your toolbox is a socket set. Every tool manufacturer offers pre-made sets that are designed to meet the needs of the average mechanic and a specific job size based on the number of pieces in the set. A lot of kits will even include other standard tools like screwdrivers, combination wrenches, and the various pliers, adapters, and extensions that you might need. Beyond a standard tool set, this video will show you dozens of specialty tools that are needed to perform different tasks that are particular to engine building. For most viewers, one of the most powerful aspects of this video is that once you've been shown how and why to use specific tools, you've got that knowledge for life. But even if you forget in a month or two, you can just click back and watch it again. Now let's have a look at some of the higher cost tools you might need to use. Keep in mind, most of the following items can be rented from an equipment supplier. A floor jack and jack stands will be needed, or alternatively, you could drive up onto some lifting ramps. An engine hoist needs to lift either the block and transmission together, or just the block itself up and out of the chassis. 
a transmission jack might be needed to remove or hold the transmission in place. When using jack stands or lifting ramps, be sure to put wheel chocks on both sides of one of the tires that are still on the ground. And lastly, to keep you from having to crouch over the whole time, we highly recommend that you put your motor into an engine stand for the duration of the rebuild. Other concerns for your personal safety are glasses and gloves. Oil, solvents, and sealers are dangerous chemicals that will absorb right through your skin. If you have gloves on, the grease comes off as easily as the gloves do. For this project, you'll be under your car a few times. Every mechanic knows that when you're under the engine poking around, loose grime and stuff always ends up falling onto your face. Be smart and protect your eyesight with safety glasses. This goes for any time you're hammering or using air tools, and especially when you're working around a running engine. From here on, it's a good idea to have a small collection of different chemicals on hand. There's a lot of steps along the way where you'll need to clean, lubricate, or seal some component. Keep an eye out for tips on when and how to use all the different types of chemicals along the way. Later in this video, there are a few areas where you'll be asked to make a selection to continue. Your decision will keep your work focused on the particular parts and processes that apply to your engine type. These choice points will be just like this one, and you'll need to make a decision to continue. From here, you can choose to continue with the engine removal chapters, navigate to the main chapter listing, or you can have a look around the reference menus. Enjoy your rebuild and have fun. Let's get started.